In this video, we'll be talking about the Quarkus Ecosystem CI. The Quarkus Ecosystem CI is the solution we recently rolled out to make it easy for you as an extension author to be able to test your extension against the Quarkus, uh, the latest Quarkus snapshots. So the, the whole uh, premise of the Quarkus Ecosystem CI is to make it very, very easy for you as the extension author uh, to have these tests in place. And as we will see, as I'll demonstrate in this video, the setup that you have to perform is very, very minimal. So let's get uh, to it. Uh, in order for me to demonstrate how this works, what I did is that I forked the Quarkus Cupid JMS extension into my own repository. And I'm going to be using this to show you how the whole thing works. Uh, so basically, all you have to do as a first step is to add a GitHub Actions YAML, which is this file right here. Uh, of course, you don't need to write this. You can just copy and paste the contents from here, which is the, re the readme page of the Quarkus Ecosystem CI. All you need to do is copy paste this into your repository, into your master branch. And um, one thing you, the one thing you have to change is right here, this variable called ecosystem CI repo path. In this case, I'm calling it Cupid because that's what the extension does. But if you're what you're you're going to name it whatever makes sense for your extension. And this name we'll be using uh, later on. I'll show you. Now, after you've done that, what you need to do is you need to create a token for your user. Uh, this is the token that will be used. Um, to later on uh, open and close the issues in the Quarkus repository. So um, th the whole idea of this Ecosystem CI thing is that it'll run once a day and depending on whether your the tests in your extension pass, it will open or close or do nothing if, if it's applicable. Uh, an issue in the Quarkus repository. That issue uh, will allow you to easily monitor the status of your extension. It will also allow uh, members of the Quarkus community to know what the status of your extension is against Quarkus Master. So for example, um, for my Quarkus Cupid JMS fork, I had created this issue here, which is, um, which is a, it's an invalid issue, obviously, because I was just doing it for testing. And um, here you can see that when the bot ran, the CAI ran, it uh, gave me various, um, it was opening and closing uh, the issue depending on what the status of the tests were. So in, in this case, I created the, the issue with a, with a bot, I'm calling the Snowdrop bot here. So what I would have to do is that in, uh, I would have to go to, for the Snowdrop bot user, not my user, for the Snowdrop bot user, I would have to go to the profile and I would need to create a new token. Um, so I would go profile developer settings and um, a personal access token. Here I would generate a new token for that user. I'm not going to do that now, but it's uh, very easy to do. You just generate a new token here and you would copy that token. Once you've created it, GitHub will show you, um, well, it'll give you a, a string, which is the token, which represents the user and the, its, the user permissions. And what you would do after that is after you created the token, you would go to this the extension, sorry, the, um, the extension repository, you'd go to settings and you would add it as a secret. See, I've already done that here. It's called ecosystem CI token. So you take, you generate the token for the user, the same user that you use to open the issue. That's very important because the, the user has to have permission to open and close its issues. And of course, random users can't open and close um, issues of other users. So you would create a, generate a token for that user. You would go here to secrets, add it as a secret. And that's it basically. All, that's all your repository has to have in order for this ecosystem CI um, mechanism to work. Uh, so there, after you've done that, uh, you need to register your extension with uh, Quarkus Ecosystem CI. So what I've done here in order to register it is simply, uh, you'll create a pull request, obviously. So I've already done that for uh, the, the purposes of this demonstration. So remember that we called um, when we were, excuse me, uh, let me pull that up and show it to you real quick. Uh, remember we call this variable here Cupid. And that's, and I said that we would have to use that later. So this is the point where we're actually going to use it. Um, inside, 
the, the, the ecosystem CI, we see a folder, a directory that's called Cupid. And I name, main, named it Cupid because uh, this is where all the the Cupid related, the Cupid extension related configuration is going to be. And this, I, the name has to match the name here. Uh, what you have to do is you have to create a single file. This file is named info.yaml. And what does that file um, contain? It contains the URL of your extension, which in this case is the GOAN Quarkus AMS extension, and these two properties. Um, where the issue lives, which is Quarkus issues, and the issue number. So in this case, I'm using issue 8562, which as you can see here is the issue I had created. So that's all the configuration you need. Step one, you, you add the GitHub Actions YAML into your repository. Step two, you generate a token. Uh, step three, you add the token as a secret. Um, step four, you would create this issue with the same user. And step five, you'd create a pull request in Quarkus, system, Quarkus Ecosystem CI in order to contain this information. Once that's all done, uh, once a day, Quarkus uh, CI will run inside it will will, will run in uh, your tests will run against the Quarkus the latest Quarkus snapshot um, some very minor technical details here is that um, the the CI that runs for your extension runs inside your um, GitHub actions uh, repository not in Quarkus that allows us to scale uh, extensions CI for extensions um, massively since uh, each extension has runs CI in its own uh, namespace and second of all it also allows us to not it also allows you as an extension to not have to trust us as the Quarkus committers uh, with your tokens so the tokens we created earlier you simply added them to your repository not to ours um, and uh, of course uh, that also allows, the, the way the ecosystem CI is created, also allows you as an extension author uh, to tweak various parts of this setup. So in this, in this video, all we did is use all the defaults. You, to see, you, didn't, you didn't see me write any YAML or test scripts or anything like that. You just used all the defaults. But as um, is mentioned in the readme here, there are various uh, parts that are tweakable that you can change for your own needs. Um, now that said, I think we covered everything. Like I said, this is very simple and uh, should get you started really quickly. And any questions you have, feel free to reach out and we'll be improving this. And so we're very much uh, looking for your feedback. Thank you very much.